I like the idea of decorative free-floating wall shelves. And in the past though, when I've done these, I've concentrated on making the hardware pretty much invisible. Today I want to do the opposite. I want to focus on the mounting hardware. Now the mounting hardware that I'm going to use resembles an adjustable C-clamp. It has a sort of industrial look. To begin, I'm using an electronic stud finder to locate the wall studs nearest the location where I want to mount the brackets. I'm centering the bracket over the stud location and marking the mounting holes. Next, I bore a pilot hole and drive in the first mounting screw. Then, using a short magnetic level, I make sure the bracket is perfectly horizontal, mark a second mounting screw location, and bore the pilot hole. I unscrew the movable clamp bracket jaw and insert a bit extender in the drill in order to drive in the second screw. Using a tape measure, I mark the location for the second bracket, in this case, 22 inches to the right. Then, using a two-foot level, I mark the height of the second bracket. Now, I want to mount the second bracket here, which is fine, except that the stud is over here. So for this, I'm going to have to use hollow wall anchors. Once again, I mark the location for the first screw. This time, though, I bore a much larger hole to receive the wall toggle. I fold the wings of the toggle together, insert the anchor into the hole, and tap it in place. Next, I place a provided pin into the anchor and give it a couple of taps. The pin causes the toggle wings to flare out on the back side of the wall. As the mounting screw is driven in, the wings draw up tightly against the back wall surface. I level the wall bracket, mark the location of the second and third holes, and repeat the process. Now I'm returning to the first bracket to install the same hollow wall anchor in the third hole, which is located beyond the edge of the wall stud. With the brackets in place, I reinstall the movable clamp jaws. For shelving material, I'm using standard 2x10 planks that I've cut to 30 inches in length. To secure them in place, I simply turn the knurled knob until everything is snug. 